we finally did it. We finally played good football in the second half of a football game. What can I say? Russell Wilson came out and he wanted to win today. There was nothing more that could be said about this game than Russell Wilson wanted to win. The defense, they came out. They had a pretty good game. Other than a couple drives, a couple plays, the defense played pretty solid. Russell Wilson, he said he loves adversity. He proved he loves adversity. 28-21, to the Seattle Seahawks take the victory over the San Francisco 49ers. And I couldn't be happier. I had no hope going into this game. But I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really glad we played good football, and especially defensively. If this was a shootout offensively and the Seahawks came out, I would have been a little bit disappointed. But defensively, we played a good game. Other than a few plays here and there, that Debo Samuel, uh, you know, super long touchdown. You know, a bit of a mistake. That's a big miscommunication there. But other than that, we played some pretty solid defense. You know, the first drive was horrible. That Debo Samuel drive was horrible. But we played good defense overall, and I can't be mad at that. Trey Flowers wasn't starting. We won a game. Coincidence? I think not. But Russell Wilson, let's get into him. I mean, of course, Russell Wilson, he's going to make plays. He had a touchdown to DK Metcalf, uh, you know, not early in the game. We didn't have a first down in the first 25 minutes of the game. But we came out and we decided we wanted to be a second-half team today. We have struggled so bad in the second half of every single game that we've lost so far. And, I mean, we struggled pretty bad in the second half against the Colts, too. But we came out in the second half, the third quarter especially. We hadn't scored any points in the third quarter before this game. We went crazy in the third quarter. We we just, I don't know. I can't I can't really put it into words. I'm just very happy with how we played. You know, Russell Wilson threw his body on the line, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling for a 16 yard scramble touchdown. I mean, he he wanted that. He had a Houdini play, got away from two uh, would be sackers, and he he made a pass to the pylon to Freddie Swain. I mean, oh, it was great. It was magnificent to watch Russell Wilson, the greatest player of all time. And you know, while we're talking about Russell Wilson. Being the go, let me just shamelessly plug something I've been working on for a little bit. We got hoodies. We got Russell. This here, I'll, I'll show it right here. This was designed all by me, and it took me way too long because I'm not an artist whatsoever. And uh, it's it's a goat Russell Wilson right here. Now, it, it cut me some slack on the helmet because, you know, I can't make it too obvious. But, uh, you know, this is a fictitious team with the colors of blue and green, and there is a fictitious player, the number three, who just so happens to be a goat playing football. There's no correlation between anything like that, so the NFL can't be upset. And we got it right here. Now let me make this a bit bigger. Now, this right here, what can I say? We got all the colors. We got some cool. We got a blue. And, and don't worry, not, not just the goat. We got some other things here. We got my favorite, Stone makes me rock hard. You know, we all know Stone Forsyth, by God. We have DK makes me gay. <laughs> what I mean, those are necessities. And when it comes to necessity, we have the pain hoodie. The cheapest I could possibly make it because, I mean, I put absolutely no effort into this. I just put pain on the front of the shirt. But, um... Then, then we got a couple that are more my stuff. You know, the little logo uh, over the pocket. We got we got the double F, just a clean little look. And then uh, if, if the signature. I mean, I, I really think that this GOAT Russell Wilson one is absolutely magnificent. And it took me way too long to make it. It took me like multiple weeks to make this. Because drawing a GOAT is not easy whatsoever. But hey, if you want to get them, go ahead and get them. The link will be in the description. You don't have to, but if you do... That'd be pretty cool. But to continue on talking about the game, I mean, it was kind of a weird game offensively. Chris Carson wasn't really getting too much opportunities, or when he did, he was getting completely stopped. Alex Collins came in, had a great game, and I was really happy with that. Kind of sad fantasy-wise because Chris Carson on my fantasy team, I would have loved for him to do well, but boy, oh boy, today was the day that Trey Flowers got benched, and I couldn't be happier. The only thing that I heard of him doing today was him getting a holding call on a punt return. So I'm just going to say, Sidney Jones, for all the mistakes that he possibly had, he made some pretty decent plays. Ryan Neal came out and was balling. He had some great plays against George Kittle. I mean, he threw his body at uh, Kyle Juszczyk. I mean, Ryan Neal. I'm really proud of that, man. I, I want Ryan Neal to play a little bit more. If we throw him at corner, I wouldn't be upset. He was making some good plays. Uh, Sidney Jones, for all, he, he had some mistakes. I'm, he, I'm, I'm, 
I'm like 90% sure he was the one to blame for that huge play to Debo Samuels where he was wide open. I'm pretty sure that's on Sidney Jones. That was a miscommunication. I think Jamal Adams was supposed to cover the flat. Sidney Jones was supposed to cover deep. Trey Flowers didn't start. We won the game. I mean, what can I say? What more is there to say? There's no other factor that could possibly impact the fact that we won the game. It's not that we played better offensively and defensively in the second half. It's only because Trey Flowers didn't play. Now, I still do believe that um, Ken Norton should be fired. One good game doesn't really matter. We still play certain scenarios horribly. Like, on slants, my God, what do, what do we do on slants? Our corners, like, you have a guy doing a slant, and our corner just, like, runs 20 yards behind him and, like, goes upfield to try and, like, they, they basically let them catch a 10-yard slant and then try to tackle him before they get 30 yards. That's how we play slants, and it's really weird and very annoying. But it didn't hurt us too bad today. And um, in the second half, Trey Lance ended up playing. And honestly, the 49ers run game did pretty solid when Trey Lance was playing. Because we had to worry about Trey Lance. We had to worry about their running backs. But then, you know, the game script kind of went in the favor of the Seattle Seahawks. So uh, the 49ers had to start passing. Had to try and start getting some quicker scores. And it didn't really happen because Trey Lance, he was missing some passes, you know. And there was also really good defense being played. The Seahawks, our, our pass coverage was solid. I'm really happy with this game. You know, not today, old friend. We finally won a game. We're a little bit more competitive in the NFC West because the Cardinals and the Rams, one of them is going to be not undefeated anymore. We just beat the 49ers, so now we're 2-2. Two and two. The 49ers are 2-2. Two and two. Either the Rams or the Cardinals are going to be 3-1, and one, and one of them is going to be 4-0. Oh. And then we play the Rams next week, and uh, hopefully we win that game. Then we become even more competitive in the NFC West. This was a huge win for the Seahawks, and hopefully we keep on winning. Week 6 is looking like it's going to be pretty gosh darn easy. The Steelers look like they completely suck. Um, I don't know. I'm really happy with this win. I, I There's really not much more to be said than, than what is said back there. You know, if we would have lost this game in very, very embarrassing fashion... Today might have been the day, but boy, oh boy, the Seahawks came in, Russell Wilson came in, Trey Flowers came out or went out or left. He got pushed to the curb, and boy, oh boy, did it work. What can I say? The Seahawks won. I am pumped. I am excited. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this game. Were you happy that Trey Flowers got benched? Of course you were. Or were you happy that we won? Of course you were. Russell Wilson's the greatest player of all time. Go ahead, get a GOAT hoodie for Russell Wilson if you want to get it. If you don't want to get it, that's completely fine. Uh, the shipping for Teespring is expensive and it takes forever, uh, but there's really no other way to sell stuff like that. So um, hopefully that's not too bad if you do want to get a hoodie. But like I said, let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts were on this game. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Link in the description for the hoodies. Have a great day.